Hi friends, it's Chrissy here. So I want to go explore a booth with you today and I've actually picked out booth 27. I don't know if you can see, where's my finger? Right there. They have a chalkboard sign which I will attempt to walk very slowly if I don't trip on anything or fall. But this booth here, actually the vendors are five sisters and they love to go antiquing on Saturdays, so they decided to get a booth together and sell their goods that they either find or had. So they call their booth the Five Sisters Traveling Treasure. So I think that's so much fun. They are fun ladies and we enjoy having them come in. And they have quite a variety because they all have a little bit different taste. So let's jump in and see and explore what they have in their booth today. So I'm gonna attempt to turn slowly, I'm sorry. So first of all, up here, they have this cute little vintage hat with a stand for $7. And I don't know why it is, but all the hats, vintage hats, are so small. And I mean, I do have a big head, but um, it's really like, you'd have to decorate with this because it definitely does not fit a large head like mine. Um, but they have this metal file cabinet box, which would be great on your front porch as a regular mailbox too, I believe. But it looks super cute as a display and with this hat I think that's just so adorable together um, so that is super cute and let me just scoot on over here I love the coop sign I love that thermos but the coop sign is five dollars look at that made in the USA how cool is that love it this is one of my favorite vintage colors when I think of like a vintage kitchen. Um, that definitely is one of my top colors that I love, sorry guys, to decorate in. Um, this is $10. This vase. And this is a one pint, it said. So it gives you an idea of the size, if I can do this without breaking it. $8. They look super cute together. We got a metal art angel holder. Um, seven dollars love you like crazy sign this is very challenging guys to do this by yourself uh five dollars to hold things and videotape i do have an extension pole i should use but not with me oh here we go here's my sign i'm in shape rounds of shape isn't it so if you're with me on the round shape put thumbs up and be proud of it because at least you're a shape anyway check out she has some pottery. This is not a Fracoma, but it's a great elephant for $5. This is cute. $5 for ceramic. It's more ceramic. It's not, um, what's the word? Yeah, that word. I can't think of it. I, this is where I feel like I need the music. Like, do, 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 do. I cannot think of what the word, croc. It's not croc material. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. This is a handmade pottery bowl, $6 only, and it's stamped by the artist. Okay, that is cute, fun sign, $3. This looks like another piece of pottery. Very nice, $4. Here we go, adventure awaits. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, made out of, it looks like a, piece of butcher block. It feels like a piece of piece, <laughs> a piece of butcher block for $6. A wall hanging metal basket for $9.50. This looks like it's a birdhouse or you could decorate with it, but that's only $10. There's a pewter candlestick holder. Well, $6. Whew, didn't break that. Thank goodness. A jar, you can always use storage glass jars, six dollars. Um, she has several wire basque strainers. I think they're all five dollars. They're fun to use or decorate. A metal hammered copper pear dish, ten dollars. So she has a pumpkin basket there with the light. This looks like a very old bowl. Six dollars, and that's what she has. Old bowl, no markings on it, but very nice. A wine holder. This is cute. This would look cute with that pint thermos that we had up there. 
$23. Um, but you can see that it's new. It's not old. She has some brass candlestick holders. $20. I think it's for the pair. Yes. A piece of pottery bowl. That's cute. $6. Her pottery is very cheap. Some more items down there. Cookbooks. Um, she does have these galvanized bar stools. Oh, and this on a stand globe, which that's $30. And I'm curious to see if anybody knows where the dates are on these things, if they put them on there. But I usually have to go by, you know, was it the Soviet Union or Russia? It's the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republic. So this is an older one. Um, but yeah, I don't know where a date would be. So if you know, please. Oh, is this it? Something about reading upside down and no date. Why would they not put a date on these? I don't know. This is exactly how I see the world right now upside down. Comment and like if you also are seeing the world upside down right now. And it's okay. However you see it is perfectly all right. So let's see. Um, yeah, that's, that's the way that I usually try to date it is by what Russia or the Soviet Union is marked as on there. But if you have any other input i would appreciate it and i can say i learned something new today yeah i don't really see anything else so yeah but i was looking up sorry squirrel i get distracted easily for those of you that know me i do not see a price on these bar stools hmm. interesting i'm gonna have to look them up in the computer she has baskets, a wine holder, which is really cute. And it actually would look cute with that pint thermos, $12, and it'll hold five bottles of wine. Um, some more nesting bowls. These look Gibson. Yeah, they're new. Set of three. Sorry, guys, I have to set it down to see it. $12.50 for a three-piece set. A Pyrex. And sometimes we have people just starting out come into shop for um, kitchen stuff, and it doesn't matter if it's old or new. We have campers that come in, and they need something for the weekend or whatever while they're out here. She has this ruby red, and she has these are small goblets for $3, so she must have them priced. The salt shakers, 3 I guess she's pricing these individually. Let's see, what is the decanter? It's 10. I love ruby red. I mean, it's not, they call it ruby red, which I don't know why. I would call it garnet. Um, but, you know, I am a garnet girl, so I always was drawn to these Avon red, ruby red that they call them Cape Cod um, Avon dishes. But I think it's because I always associated it as garnet. I don't know if you can see with the light. But to me, they look more garnet than ruby. But put in the comments, what do you think? Would you call it ruby or would you call it garnet? It don't matter either way, but just for fun, to take a poll. And small brown crock bowl. That could be used for so many things. Six bucks. A primitive star, which is new. Three dollars. This is one thing you need to make sure if you have a booth to make sure you put your stickers and prices on securely because people walk around and meander in the store or they carry it and they're not looking and they're looking around at other stuff and they lose it. And when you have a store full of people and it's busy, trying to find that tag is impossible. That's experience talking. Um, this cute picture... And that is six dollars so very cute she has a lot of uh, nautical stuff this is a really fun um, 
Gosh, I cannot think today. Bowie Lifesaver, $14.50. It's definitely like a wicker material. Um, this is a fun little pulley, $12.50. You can tell it's new to look old. It was made with safe paint. Okay, that's nice to know. I grew up in a house that was from the early 1900s, and definitely the paint was not safe in the house. But we all live to tell about it, surprisingly enough. So whenever, you know, somebody in the family is acting silly, we just laugh and say, you know, they must have like been chewing on the lead paint window seals way too long. And it's kind of like a, just a running joke in the family because we did. We had an old house with the old wood windows and all of that. And gosh, my entire life, my parents were remodeling it. Um, so... I don't even remember what year we got vinyl windows, but it was way after we were all old enough not to chew on windowsills anymore. <laughs> so anyway, my family will love that I'm sharing that story. But anyway, we'll continue with the tour. Um, this is a really fun, it don't open, little mirror. I don't know how she has that on there. $20. It definitely is new. I have no idea how she had, oh, I see a tiny, 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 tiny nail. I don't know if you can see that. So that must be how she had it. I would never, oh, wow, that's amazing. Um, this is so cute. This bent wood high back chair, $65. I have looked at that numerous times because I have toddler nieces and nephews and they they're too old and big for a high chair, they think, but this would be great. I think they would feel like it's a big kid's chair, but you know it lasted this long. It will hold kids, but it would also be cute to put plants on, or if you have an antique or vintage doll that was a passed down heirloom, this would be a cute, cute display. I also love this picture. Let me see if I can turn this around and get it. Can I get it? Let me try to move it. I love this. It's, I don't know, I would say 16 by 20. It is a very cute portrait. Um, I don't think it's old. But I want to see if... $25. But it is well worth it. If you've ever had anything framed professionally, yeah. So I... Um, my mother-in-law passed away in 2015, and I had found, the next year after she had passed, I had found the last Christmas card she had given us from the year before. So I thought for Christmas that year, I was going to surprise my husband and frame the Christmas card. So I waited till Michael's had a sale to get this card framed, because I thought, oh, what a nice, you know, keepsake gift. So I gave it, or I took it there, and I'm like, I have a 50% off coupon. If you ever done this, you know where I'm going. And uh, I brought the card in, and it was, with the coupon, like 80-some dollars. Yeah. And it was like a greeting card. So I can only imagine what it would cost to get that framed. So needless to say, that's the last thing that I had professionally framed, but it was um, enough of a shocker that I don't know what I'll do next time, but I like to reuse and repurpose. So nowadays, I think I would probably have it done using old stuff and making it look really original and authentic. But anyway, I'll stop babbling and move right on. I'm full of stories tonight. Sorry, guys. Um, Cute a set of three pillows and see how she ties them together that just it gives a good presentation and it's 950 for all of them so books and pillows sell well that way always give thanks that's a cute and they look cute with the pillows there this looks new though it is for twelve dollars here is a big crock thirty dollars um it looks like a 10 gallon but I can't see with my one hand, and these scarecrows are cute. Three dollars is it. You could put those in about anything. Those are super cute for fall. Um, 
Oh, she has this old drying rack, which would open up. That's super cute. Primitive looking, but that's really, really old. Another basket for six. Here is a beach sign. Beach sign. Again, this product is made with safe paint. That is so nice that they put that on there. Um, another picture. I see the price hanging here, but let's just see. Another tip I would give is to always put the price tags on the front. I don't know what string. Oh, straw. Um, if people have to hunt for the price, they'll usually pass it up. That's just experience. Also talking. So anytime you can put the price front and center, the better off you are. So this is a cute wall sconce, $10, and it's metal. It's pretty good size. It's probably about 18 inches long. Um, this is a fun beach picture, which again, the price is hidden. Um, this is a nice, oh, it moves, plate rack holder. I do not see a price. I'll have to tell her that. Um, a typewriter table. Which these go in spurts on when we sell them. I'm trying to find a price. I mean, I sold them anywhere from fifteen to thirty dollars for most of them. Oh, here's. Oh, hers is twenty. Um, a large basket for five fifty. These are great for storage. Let me try to move around here if I can. Sorry, guys. Um, this artichoke tray, it's new, $10. Oops, sorry. It's just falling on me. This little wooden basket, $10. It's new, but it is cute. She has some nice, these are new too. But she has $18 for three of them. A little bit different designs, but... You could decorate or use them. And $4 for this modern dish. And some maracas. These are not priced. I'll have a teller. Oh, here's the old one maraca for $5. Oh, here's the pair of maracas for $5. That is a deal. And here, this could be a maraca or a rain stick if you're into that. Five dollars. Here are some antique metal candle holders, made in Japan, and it has the E. I don't know that logo off the top of my head, but those there's some weight to them. Those are really nice. I don't know if you can see the etching in them. This side maybe a little bit better, but six dollars for the pair, or is it each? Yep, it's for the pair. That's the deal. We got Thompson Francis Old Bowl, $6. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to put this on here and show you. Is this another one? No, it's Crown Pottery's company. Again, made in the USA. How about that? $4. Very pretty. Now, I have had a lot of customers come in and tell me that I might actually put these on here, they look cute, displayed. I've had a lot of customers come in and tell me that they'll use these big old bowls or plates um, or saucers and put underneath their plants instead of the cheesy plastic ones for the drainage catchers. Um, and they just look pretty and nice and works out great. And what a great way to reuse and repurpose. This is a nice, wow, I can't. Sorella, I think. I haven't I am not familiar with that one. If you are, let me know. $12. That's a very cool bowl though. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here. Wire basket, $5. This looks like it's a reproduction of a golf ball one. A planter with yellow and blue stripes, $4. I don't see any marks on it. She has some baskets. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that this reindeer one is $14. This one's $14.50. This is 12, a heavy candle holder. And check out this old, um, okay, and 
six dollars on the screen pottery this is a cute little small picture seven dollars no markings no price on that cute little bear two dollars usa brown crackable for oasis this is new four dollars but that would be cute with a plant in it this would be a really cute saucer and that is five dollars she has really cute stuff guys they have really cute stuff i don't know why i keep saying she eight dollars a teapot five dollars these also are good to use to water a plant you can put a plant in it or you can use it you know whatever you want to do but this is super lightweight seven dollars a black arrow and here's a piece of metal art seven fifty here's another green this is a pitcher it's not, it's new but that would look cute with that um pint holiday uh, thermos thank you that's the word i'm looking for oh this looks like it would match that nesting bowl set she has over there yes it is daisy dot 15 um for a bean pot very cute i have a lot of customers that still use that stuff and this is five dollars this would be a really cute saucer as well so put that there this oh this looks really old made in japan can you see that if you recognize the mark put it in the comments because i'm not familiar with that one it's very cute it looks like it had a lid at one point so i wonder if it was like a canister to hold flour or something thank goodness this is a little wooden five and a half inch wooden bowl three dollars this little bear figurine five dollars traveling bear isn't that cute for the traveling sisters one two and there's five in the back how cute that is so perfect for them um and this is a crock yes it is a small crock and how can we remember forget the geese and ducks that my mom totally had these i think in the 80s or 90s i don't remember but kind of glad that they're not a thing right now but i do have people buy stuff like that for the holidays for gag gifts and stuff um she has this new lamp looks hardly used with edison light bulbs um marked down to 20 dollars um she has this beautiful there's only four plates and six dessert plates from the ballerina made, union made in the usa she's selling them um, all six plates for five dollars and let's see the sugar bowl is five and the four plates are five i would decorate with these but i have a thing for flowers and roses and chubby chic so um this is cute this wire basket cage twelve dollars that is super cute. You could put plants in there, store stuff in there, put towels in your hand towels in your bathroom. That so many things. Um, this is a cute measuring cup set. They are ceramic and new for ten dollars. These are cute aluminum cocktail tray set of seven for eight dollars. You could do a lot of things with those. She has some nautical style pictures again the prices are not on them and they're pretty good size but i'll have to find those out she has these mirrors she hung on the end of her bookcase i have to get pricing on that let me see if i can turn this around without nauseating you guys okay sorry you got an extreme close up there so we got i showed you the hat here's some Crocs. This looks like false craft, but it's not. If you know what name or familiar with that, please let me know because I'm not. Candlestick holders. Set of two for $10. A croc pitcher, $12.50. It looks modern, even though it's supposed to be old. Um, 
And then we have this shoe shine box. I love it. I don't think I did this yet. $25. If I did, sorry. Um, this is great. It's in excellent condition. And usually you can get $25 just for the box alone. Um, the piano bench is $20. The lid does not open. A very large basket for $25. Oh, I thought this was wood, but it's ceramic for $6. And these board game tabletops. I don't know if you see them, but she had 25 on them and she marked them down to 15. But you can do lots of things with these. Make tables, use them for wall decor, all kinds of fun stuff. And this is so true. So when we, when I met my husband, we, he actually had, oh, sorry, moving my phone here. He actually had um, two cats. One was a Maine Coon, which was huge and was full of hair. And then the other one was like orange and white. Do they call those calico cats, maybe? But the Maine Coon, he had at least 19 or 20 years, and he didn't know how old it was when he found it. So I, he came with cats. So basically, um, I forgot when the first one, the orange and white one's name was Sammy. Um, he passed. I forgot when that was. But I remember the Maine Coon passed in 2015, um, and that was a rough year because his mom's dog, which I called his sister, she was like 14 or 15 years old, a little Shih Tzu. She had passed in July, and then the Maine Coon, which his name was Martin, passed in September. And then in December that year, his my mother-in-law passed. So within like those six months, we had three major losses. And um, my husband's not ready to get a new pet or anything yet. So, um, you know, everybody heals in their own time. So that's kind of why we are pet free um, at the moment. So, and it's kind of good because I have a lot of nieces and nephews that are all small. I mentioned before but the, my three-year-old niece, Abby, is severely allergic to animals, especially dogs. Um, she does, she's allergic to almost anything that has fur. But um, they have to carry an EpiPen and everything like that. So it's probably good that we don't have pets because of that. I mean, her life and health and well-being is, you know, more important to us than that right now. So... Um, I guess it all worked out like it was supposed to. So maybe by the time she's grown up and hopefully outgrows that allergy, we'll be able to move on and, and get a new pet. So anyway, again, another story. I don't know if I showed you this either while I'm thinking about it. This really cool primitive cabinet. I think she has 165 on it, um, which is a really fair price. For the condition it's really great condition um these books like i said earlier i love how she puts the books together and sells them for five dollars a bundle and it doesn't matter what the books are but she sells a lot of them so that's a really good way to sell your books if you do have a lot because they look good for displaying and sometimes people buy them just because of the book but it presents itself very very nice so i think did i get cut off talking about this cookie jar Sorry, I have to pause in between to go help people, and I may have skipped this, but this is $45. You can see there are, there's a crack in the lid. It looks like they repaired it, but this is a very, very, very old cookie jar, which I probably should not put this here, but I'm going to, but it is just so stinking cute. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. Besides the lid being bad, mm, I still smell old cookies. And I mean old cookies. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think that is pretty much everything. I'll try to walk out and pan the booth again so you can kind of see. They have a lot of fun things in there at very reasonable prices. I got to get a price on those bar stools yet um but yeah everything's for sale so if you're ever interested just comment message me let me know and we will paypal you 
and get paid and then we can always ship it. So till next time, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a fabulous day. We are in the Midwest and it's like 100 degrees out and humid. So if you are somewhere cool, great for you. And if you're somewhere hot, blessings and prayers to you because I feel you. And until next time, bye.